Hi, welcome to the tutorial for M Music Video 2 for Adobe Premiere Pro. The pack is compatible with Premiere Pro 2023 and upwards. First, you need to adjust your workspace to work with Mogert files. To do this, open the Window tab, go to Workspaces, and click Captions and Graphics. Then, in the Essential Graphics window on the right side, type M Music Video 2 into the search bar. If you're using Full HD resolution, it's important to know that all our presets are created in 4K resolution. In such a case, some presets might appear empty. I'll demonstrate this with Subtitle 05. If I have a Full HD project and drag the preset onto the timeline, it will appear empty. In this situation, you need to click it, go to the Effect Controls window on the left side, and reduce the scale to 50% in the motion parameter. After that, everything should work fine. I'd like to add some sparkle to this session using the vertical streak effect. I can adjust its length as needed. I don't need the effect to disappear at the end, so I'll select the preset on the timeline and uncheck the Animation Out checkbox. I want to apply the effect to the first two clips, so I'll select the first one, then hold Shift and click the second one, and use the nest function to create a new clip. I'll name it Vertical Streak Footage to find it more quickly, and then apply it to the Background Footage parameter. Adjust the mask threshold a bit, and let's see the result. It looks great. The clip at the bottom is no longer needed, so it can be deleted to tidy things up. To add some dynamism, I'll use the fake robot arm preset, which simulates camera movements. To use multiple presets on one clip, we can add a new preset to the timeline and use the same technique as before, but on the current preset that already contains our clip. We'll trim it to the length of the new preset, use the nest option, name it Fake Robot Arm Footage, and apply it to the background footage. I'll reduce Movement 1 Zoom and set the endpoint near the girl's head. I would like to put the second point a bit lower maybe somewhere near the base of the guitar. I will adjust Movement 2 Zoom and End Point. And for the final point, I think somewhere around the guitar's head would be good. Adjust the settings accordingly. And that's the spot. The whole thing looks like this. We can again remove the unnecessary clip, and in the next step, we'll add a transition. You'll find the transitions in the Downloads folder, Motion VFX Download, and then in the Plugin folder. In our case, it will be MMusic Video 2 PR. Right click, Open With, and then Premiere Pro. The transitions will load in the window at the bottom left corner of the screen. We have 10 transitions to choose from. I'll use Echo Flash. After applying the preset, adjust the clips so they overlap for the entire length of the transition. Then trim using the razor tool. Cut the first clip, go into Transition A clip, and paste. Do the same with the second clip, but paste it into the Transition B clip. Next, I'd like to adjust the color to match the glow on the windows. To do this, go into the Echo Flash clip, click on the Colorize layer, and change the tint color in the Effect Controls tab.
Let's see the result. It looks good. Let's tidy up the timeline. An essential thing when using our transitions. In the left corner of the timeline, there is an icon with a very long name that is visible now. It's important that it is enabled because otherwise something like this will happen when you drag the transition onto the timeline, which we don't want. So enable the icon again, and then our effect will appear on the timeline as one clip. We can remove both effects and close the remaining tabs. We won't need the project with transitions anymore. In this step, I'll show you how Subtitle 05 works. The preset displays words one after another. It can be stretched and shortened as desired. The number of displayed words will always be the same. If we want to change this, we add a few words to the title source text, but we see that nothing has changed. This is because we didn't change the title text animation speed value. By speeding up this value, there is more time for added words to animate and display. If we reduce the number of words, we also need to adjust the speed because the current speed is too high and the animation loops. The most optimal method of controlling this preset will be to set the playhead to the last frame where the word is displayed, set the title text's animation speed value to zero, and then increase it until we see the last word we entered. Just like that. Let's use this method to enter new text. Let's see how it looks. For me, it's a bit too fast. To change it, just stretch it a bit. Now, it looks better. If you're looking for a different subtitle style, there are several to choose from. I'll show you an alternative using another preset. First, we'll remove Subtitle 05. I think we can replace it with Subtitle 03. The preset suits this video, but I prefer the text to highlight words instead of letters. Let's enter our text. And this is how it looks. I prefer the previous preset here, so we'll go back to it and then move on. Finally, I'd like to show you how we can use the split screen preset. I'll apply it to the timeline and adjust the length to my clip. Then reduce the vertical mask size and move it to the left. I want to have three clips on the screen with the current clip visible in the middle. To do this, I'll copy the preset by clicking Option and dragging it up. Then, I'll move the drop zone to the right. I'll apply new clips to both presets. The preset looks like this. Now, let's take a look at what we've created here. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to stay up to date with new products.